Dave and I made it into Oklahoma. For both of us, it was our first time in the state. We stayed at the Old Town RV Ranch campground, where a lot of people were living actually, and they worked at the local casino, just like our friend Diana here. She became a great friend while we stayed there. We rode around on Dave's motorcycle quite a bit in the area, and it was just beautiful, beautiful Oklahoma. Out of nowhere, in this beautiful landscape is this enormous casino, Windstar Casino and Resort, owned by the Chickasaw Nation. And this is humongous. It is actually the largest casino in the world. And um, we spent some time inside to check it out and it's just huge. They've got it separated out by cities or countries. So for example, there's an area for Spain and Madrid and Paris, France and New York, New York and China and Rome and Greece. And I can't even tell you all the different countries that are um, recognized within there. And then in each of those sections, they not only have games that are quote unquote related to the country, but also restaurants, you know, at least one, maybe two for each section. This place is huge and it just pops up out of nowhere out in the country. It's remarkable. And it was just filled with people um, playing. They've also got conference rooms. So I think it's a big resort and a good stopover for conferences. Um, they've also got a huge theater where they have big acts come and play and, and perform. And um, so it's, it's just, it's a dichotomy from the beautiful country. And then all of a sudden we've got this one enormous casino with restaurants and all kinds of entertainment. The next town north of where we were staying was Marietta, which had very recently had tornadoes come through. And so we rode through one day and we saw this terrible damage. Later that afternoon, we went over to see Lake Murray and visit the Tucker Tower Nature Center. The Tucker Tower Nature Center was built by the CCC back in the 1930s and now houses a museum. Lake Murray is a man-made lake built by damming up a couple of rivers. It was really a lovely and peaceful place to be. One other great thing about Oklahoma was that my new friend Dave got me these awesome decals of a jackalope. <laughs> Dave and I parted ways for the time being, he going west and me going north and east. This is a picture of how he travels as a nomad, and I will be giving you another video that shows how he sets up his house on the road. It's really cool. Heading up to northern Oklahoma after several days in the southern part, I got a chance to drive along Route 66 and see some of these fun sights. Everybody. So today I am in Twin Bridges Campground at Grand Lake State Park in Northern Oklahoma. And um, I am probably within a half an hour drive to Kansas, a half an hour drive to Missouri, half an hour drive over to Arkansas. I'm really liking that, that corner of Oklahoma. But I gotta tell you, this campground it's lovely, it's beautiful, 
but there is no one here but me. It's very strange. I've been camping all my life and I can't really recall ever <laughs> being the only camper in a campground. And the other thing about this campground is there's a road that runs in the middle of it, like a regular road. Good cars are coming and going all the time. So part of the campground's on the other side of the road and part is on this side. And it's also a day use park. So there are a lot of extra picnic benches all around that people can come in and, and use. So it's just different. <laughs> But it's actually working out really well for me because now it's the middle of May and I am in, um, uh, I'm in a period of time where I'm in a rush to get everything ready for my summer class. My summer class starts in just a couple weeks and I've got a lot of things that I've got to prepare and get ready for my students. So this is a really peaceful, lovely place to be um, to do my work and to get myself ready for, for summer session. Now tomorrow I'm actually gonna move into a different campsite because there's, I'm actually right on the road and there are a number of better sites, but I found the best site in the campground. And since all of the sites are available, um, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to that one tomorrow for the next couple days. And then, um, yeah, and so I'll be here for a couple more days and try to get my classroom set up and materials ready for my students. Uh, before I head on into Illinois. I'm gonna, I actually know I am gonna take a couple days and go into Missouri um, and explore an area I've never been in Missouri before. And then, uh, and then after that, I'm gonna head up to Illinois because I've got a wedding to attend. So anyway, I'm just gonna take you for a little walk now and just kind of show you this place. It's really pretty, but no one's here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. So yeah, let me turn it around. Yeah, see, isn't this lovely? It's a really pretty place. And they've got, you know, all the, all the necessary facilities for both tenting and for RVs. And um, it's empty. <laughs> it's just me. So, so here are some more views of this campground and area. It's on Grand Lake, and it's really a beautiful place. And certainly there were more rainstorms up here in Oklahoma, but not nearly as bad as what we had had down in Texas. <laughs> 